Yo, what's up, Tail Foundation? Uh, hi. So this is me, day one. Like literally, this is the first day that I have got a copyright strike. Like not a copyright strike, but copyright strikes. So look at that. You can see that channel violation right there. Yeah. So this is my counter notification. So what I did on the counter notification is uh, I put it on my notepad already. And I'm watching Tia Boo's story on So You Got Some Copyright Strikes because um, a commenter uh, or a subscriber did recommend uh, Tia Boo. I'm gonna give him a shout out later um, if this video comes out on this channel if it's still alive after my counter notification, okay? Um, so, um, in Tia Boo's story, uh, I'm not gonna leave a like first because I need this channel to be saved first before I like Tia Boo's, uh, <laughs> uh, video. And I'll subscribe, <laughs> obviously, because Tia Boo will help me if that is the case. And thank you for that, uh, subscriber that recommended or ref uh, referred, uh, Tia Boo's, uh, video. So, based on his video so far from what I've watched is, um, I won't go to court yet <laughs> because it's just basically reaction videos so yeah um, because we all know Japan doesn't have fair use so that is why I got taken down and that anime was a very wholesome cute rom-com anime that took me down that strike me and that is a sign of affection Yubisaki to Renren Yes, all 12 episode reactions, time code reactions, were copyrighted. Copyright strike. Without notice, like literally without prior notice, they took it all down. So I got, I was, uh, I was in shock. I was literally losing my mind. I was going crazy after I woke up. So this is my first day to actually uh, do the counter notification. So wish me luck because my uh, reasoning here is that I don't own the original content because that is true. I don't own the original content that I'm reacting to, but it is in fact solely for reacting and by covering up the screen with a wallpaper or screenshot and time code with no audio to avoid copyright and for the audience to sync up with the time code I provided to watch on their own copy. So that is my reasoning and I also specified some things like lowering the opacity on my wallpaper uh, or a screenshot and then putting a, um, a timer and then uh, no audio. So yeah, that's why it's a very transformative edited uh, video and at the same time, I don't use their, um, their content. So yeah, because you guys won't get the upper hand. You know, you have to have your own copy in order to hear the audio of the anime. So you all know that, right? You all know what the time code reaction is. And that is why to some people it's boring. So I don't get why it gets copyrighted, even though it's just a time code reaction. I would have understand if it's the same as your boy Rock Lee, you know, an edited reaction video, but still that's fair use and it's applicable for DMCA and uh, copyright law. But in Japan, it doesn't apply. So I hope that I do get um, I do get my channel back. So I will be thanking you, Tiabu. So <laughs> wish me luck. This is the very first day that I will be uh, doing my counter notification. So yeah, wish me luck, guys. So yeah, I will be thanking you soon if you are right, Tiabu. <laughs> so yeah. What up, TFM Nation? We've won. Yes, we have finally won the copyright. Yeah, there's only one left, though. Um, yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed that they're not gonna reply, you know, Kodansha. So, yeah, copyright strikes are gone. And so, I am glad that I am back on my channel. So, yeah. So, what's up, TFM Nation? It's me, and that's TFM Monster here again. We're back. 
on this channel. I'm back. Yeah, I just got back home, by the way. Um, my stomach hurts, but anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, we finally won. Oh, I can't talk. We finally won the copyright. There's only one strike left, and it's going to be reinstated soon. But, yeah, YouTube took forever to get this forwarded. But, yeah. Anyway, I can now finally upload on this channel once again. <sighs> and thank you for the 1,722 subscribers, which is um, pretty unexpected because um, I left this channel around 1680 plus subscribers before it got strike and now that it got strike and then now that i came back i gained a lot of subs even though there's no content for a whole month because of the copyright strike anyway i'm gonna share you my story on copyright strike so thank you tiaboo for actually helping me out and i will indeed subscribe to your channel so thank you for the uh the reference as well but, uh I'm, wait hold on let me give you a shout out big shout out to at sin chisan thank you so much man i really do appreciate your uh suggestion to watch tiubu's video on copyright strikes i don't know if that would help still it helped me a lot tiubu said that uh if you get a copyright strike do not panic that's all you need to do do not panic and because i did panic of course, it's my first ever copyright strike. I did panic. However, Tubu is indeed correct. You won't go to court because Japan won't go to court with you because it's just an anime reaction. You're using fair use. And plus, YouTube is with the copyright US law. US copyright law. And fair use is applicable. Unlike in Japan... It does not apply there. So based on my first day, I watched Tiaboo's video and here I am. I'm back on this channel. And to celebrate, like I said on my community post, now that I'm back, I'm going to re-upload every single video on this backup channel. Re-upload them on my main channel. And then I'm going to make all of my re-uploaded videos for free the full reactions for free over on patreon for free members all of the members over on my patreon get the free full access all right on the full reactions of my videos that is demon slayer uh hasha training arc uh oshinoko season two episode one alia sometimes hides her feelings in russian pseudo harem uh, what else? Uh, Cafe Terrace and its goddesses. All right, there's a lot there that you can watch. Kaiju number eight for completely for free. That is only for 24 hours. Okay, I'm still keeping it safe. I'm playing it safe. All right, you know how copyright system works. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it safe for now. You know, so um, yeah. Gi my say got to date my stepsister completely for free as well on its episode one, and then. As a bonus, I will uh, make my Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 2, or Episode 13 of Oshinoko completely for free for one hour only. As well as Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian, Episode 2 for one hour. Uh, at the time it's released on YouTube, you only get the uh, you only get to watch the full reaction for free as a free member or uh, whatever member you have, whatever membership you have over on my Patreon. Completely for free, full access, full reaction for only one hour. So keep an eye out for that one. All right. You get the full visual and audio. So you have no problems with that. That's my celebration for you guys. And thank you for the 1,722 subscribers. Did not expect that at all. But still, I'm thankful for every single one of you. I didn't think that I would reach this high even though I'm not even uploading a single video for a month because of copyright. I couldn't even upload because of copyright. Kodansha ruined my reputation on YouTube and that is why the algorithm might be not recommending my channel. So that is why I was so frustrated. I was so down. Like literally, I was so down and I was so extremely disappointed and frustrated. Like I was mentally broken. And then, yeah, Tiubu came in, you know, 
from Sinchi Sun's recommendation comment. Uh, my videos got reinstated. So, here's my story. I'm gonna share it to you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna edit this as much, but all I did was just simply answer the questions on the rationale. All right, just put everything that you need to do. Why? Uh, why is it? Why is your reason valid? All right, like fight for it. You know. So what I did is that this is just a time code reaction. Okay, I'm not uh, fully showing the anime, and there is no audio. How can they copyright me when I'm using a fair use time code reaction where audiences sync up with the time code so that they can watch along with me? That's a very simple method that's been used over the course of YouTube's platform, right? Over the course of uh, content creators out there, they always use time code reactions completely for free because that's the best option for a safest reaction video, all right? However, that's not the case for Kodansha. That, it, this is not only for Kodansha, this is also for Shueisha. My tip for you is fight for your right. And yeah, all the reason why uh, most of them were rejected at first is because they didn't specify that I should put all of my address, okay? They only specified street, but they said, oh yeah, uh, you, we need your full address. I'm like, okay, fine, sure. So I put all of my address in and they forwarded all of my rationale. All of my counter notifications were forwarded. Like, that's it. So fight for it um, as much as possible. Fill it all up, like fill up all the rationale so that um, I feel like YouTube won't even uh, read everything that you're going to put in the rationale. But put your heart and soul into that because it's your right. Okay. So my best advice for you is to wait patiently. Um, it took me a day, a day or two for them to forward my counter notifications. Okay. Minimum, I think would be less than a day, but the maximum would be two days. Well, the last one took me about two weeks actually. So yeah, anyway, that's beside the point. Most of the counter notifications were forwarded, uh, for only a day. So that's that. And then all you had to do was wait. Okay. Don't be scared about uh, going to the court. No, that's not happening because it's reaction. It's a freaking reaction video. Why would they even copyright you when you're simply reacting, criticizing the anime, criticizing the media, giving feedbacks, comments? That's normal, okay? And they still copyright you. So that's Japan, okay? I'm not shedding a bad light in Japan, okay? I'm just saying their copyright systems are horrible. They're way worse than US and other because they don't have fair use. So this is terrible for anime uh, content creators out there, all right? And I'm pretty, I know there is another YouTuber out there that's, um, what's its name? Um, ABD, Anime Balls Deep, right? Yeah. They got copyrighted by Shueisha. And yeah, all you just need to do is just fill up the rationale, be specific, even though I'm pretty sure they won't read it. Just, just do whatever you want with the rationale, play with it, be as polite as possible. That is the best option you ever have. Okay. Don't rage on the rationale. That's why it's called a rationale. Don't rage on it. Just simply put every uh, specifications that you need and be rational about it. Like, be objective about your uh, rationale, your counter notification, because that is your solution to get your videos back online. All right. Don't delete the videos, okay? Ever. Don't do that because you know that you're going to win. All right. 100%. You always win this fight, okay? So if you guys are scared that, uh, because I got scared as well, I'm pretty much guaranteeing it to you guys now. You won't go to court, okay? Japan won't go to United States just to go to court, okay? <laughs> and plus, they're not going to pay that much. They're going to lose money again, you know? Like, they're going to lose money just to 
freaking fight for their rights on the anime that you just simply reacted to. And they're shedding a bad light. Okay, so that is why they're not doing that ever. They're never doing that. So my recommendation to you is to just do a counter notification as soon as possible. Don't even wait. Just do it. Just do a counter notification. You're done. You're set. Okay? That's all you need to do. Because you have the fair use. Fair use is the best when it comes to copyright. Okay? As long as you know that you're in the right, you have no problem. Because I know I was in the right. It's just a simple reaction video with a time code. Alright? So, thank you, Shin Chi san. Uh, yeah. I'm back on YouTube. So, yeah. Like I said, Patreon exclusive videos that has a limited time for only 24 hours. You can watch them completely for free if you're a member. You know, a free member or whatever tier you have, it's still for free. Okay? But it's only for a limited time only. Alright? It'll be locked for Patreon members only again after 24 hours. Okay? So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm back on YouTube, baby. Let's get it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. So, yeah. Peace out.